This episode of Philly Fame TV is sponsored by Top Dog Law. Now y'all already know who to call for any accidents or injury cases. If you want that top dollar, you better get that top dog. You can hit him up on Instagram at Top Dog Law or visit his website www.topdoglaw.com. All right, y'all, let's take it back to the very beginning, back on August 6, 2020, when Mary Malik was shot six times, transported to the hospital where he was labeled in critical condition. The moment I got shot, I blacked out. I don't Damn. fucking know! Mayor! He's trying to track down the gunman who shot a man in Logan. A 34-year-old man was shot early this morning near the corner of North Broad and West Rum Ruscombe Streets. He's in critical condition after being shot in the face, shoulder. All right, so while Mayor Malik was in the hospital, he was officially diagnosed as a quadriplegic. For those who don't know, he was paralyzed from the neck down. Um, he was told he would never walk again. I mean, only to sometime later, he was to be able to go home, you know, start recovering, start in rehab and stuff. Then he started moving his arms and his legs a little bit. And, you know, they, he wasn't supposed to be able to do that. So, you know, they went to the hospital, you know, to figure out what was going on. And then the doctor diagnosed him with brown c core syndrome. And he explained what that was when we did the interview with him back in June. You have um, something called brown support syndrome, whereas the, the bullet... You would get shot on your right side of your body, whereas though the, the bullet crushed my vertebrae and tapped my spinal. So on the right side of my body, I'm temporarily paralyzed. And the left side of my body should act accordingly. Um, but that didn't happen like that. Because I had two strokes, one minor and one major stroke. And it was on the right side of my brain. So they knocked out the left side of my body as well. So that's what made me a quad. That's what made me not be able to move. And they thought it was over. But you know, I'm being right. Coming back. All right, so here you see where the bullet hit the spinal cord through his x-rays. Then you're going to see him, you know, a year later in September, so a little over a year later. Now he's working his legs on the bicycle. You know, right now he's getting help. They're helping the guy on his legs, but, you know, he's doing most of it on his own. You're going to eventually see him getting, you know, more used to it, stronger. As he keep progressing, you see him still on the bike, working his legs on the bicycle. You know, they, they just got their hands on his legs. They not really helping him too much. He really much starting to do it on his own for the most part. Then now you see him on the stem machine, working his legs on his own. I mean, you see the improvement, he getting stronger with his legs. Now you see him on the bicycle again, working his legs, stronger. Getting stronger, showing more improvement. More improvement. You see this right here? That's all me. There's no help. That's all muscle. That's all pain. It's all strength. Here we go again. Another video. I'm just telling y'all, man. I'm coming back, man. God willing. And I'm telling you, faith is what got me in. Now you see him right here, you know, moving his hand for the first time like this since he been shot almost a year and a half ago to this point. First time he was able to move his hand like this. Good money, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
face for the head. Ah! Wish my fucking hands were. Now this video right here, that's gonna show him, you know, uh, scratching his own face on his own for the first time in almost two years since he been shot. You know, like we said, he was initially deemed a quadriplegic, not able to move his arms or his legs. So, you know, once he threw this video up, we posted it on our TikTok and it went viral over 11.4 million views, you know, over 8,000 comments, 25,000 shares. You know, it, was, it definitely went crazy on, on a TikTok. I mean, I'm relentless. I won't stop. If you're watching me, you're going to watch and see that I'm striving to now eat complete meals with my hands. You see in this video, it's kind of hard for me in the beginning. I want to give up so bad. But I think about the people that's actually watching me and they're saying, I admire his strength. So I got to keep fighting. I have to keep fighting. So to the people that are watching me, and there's something that you cannot do, strive to do so. Because I'm telling you, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. If you land in that bed, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Get the fuck about that bed. If you land in that bed, do me a favor. Get the fuck up out that bed. And now, fast forward to current time, two years to the date. August 6, 2022, you see him eating chips on his own, Doritos, able to take him out the bag and eat him on his own. That's the progress from going from quadriplegic, you know, to fighting his way back. If y'all want to stay updated, follow his journey, see other content that he got showing y'all's progress. He got plenty more videos and stuff documenting everything that he went through from the time that he got shot to currently today. You know, follow his new Instagram. He got TikTok as well. You know, and follow Philly Fame TV on Instagram and TikTok. Stay updated. And if y'all want more content like this, you know, hit me up. Let me know. You know, I got other type of stuff I got in the works too that I plan on doing. So let me know if y'all want to stay. Y'all want me to hit y'all with this kind of content. I mean, in the meantime, between time, y'all stay up. Appreciate y'all checking it out.